Hello and welcome to my channel Sadoactan. Today I am joining a Windows 10 to Windows Server 2016 domain. Please like and subscribe my channel. If you have any comments, just please write on the below section. And first we have to check the network settings. So just click on the network here. And here is the setting so it's connected to the network but I want to make sure it's getting the signal from server so change adopter setting and just click on that and properties here and it's IPv4 so is a use the static IP address for 192.168.230 and this is class C and this is the server IP address so click OK and OK close this one and we have to go CMD so CMD. type the CMD so it shows here and we have to check the with the ping command so getting signal from so 192.168.2.230 for this PC so it's where we getting the signal from the PC and then we have to check the server IP address so like we're getting the signal from so it's 200 and is getting signal from the server so it's like we can join the domain so close this one here and close this one and here close this one too and after we have to change the name for this PC before we join the computer so we have to go here click on start and here is the system and system you have to see here it said rename this PC so we have to change this PC name here and so it said rename this PC so just click on that and ask for the name so the before PC name is DS DS so I can change to PC2 and click next okay so it's not work so can change work PC okay and after this uh, restart this PC so click that and it's restarting after change the name we have to join the domain and after we check the settings it's connect to the system and friend if you have any question you can write me in a comment section so I can answer your question and please like and subscribe my channel and so you can get the new videos and please sub click on the bell icon too so you get the latest videos when I upload the videos and you say update so is a work PC one I change the name so click on there password one and we have to check here one more time right click on start system and here we can check is the name is changed or is still we have the old name so is a work one here so PC name is change Intel and this is work and Windows 10 edition so this one we can close and we have to go to just click on the this PC and you can find on the top or you can go to the properties here and here is you can see work P, P, work one and it's a PC2 click on the change settings here and here you have the option to join like the to rename this computer or change it to domain or work group click on change and here is the domain so we have a solo dot CL local 
and it's asking for the username and password so we can join the domain so first we have to put the admin so administrator and the password is so put your password and uh, admin what is the name of your admin so just click on ok and it's, you can see it's welcome to join salo.local domain so we join the windows 10 to the windows server 2016 click ok and it said before restarting save any open files and close all programs click ok and close this one and restart now yes and wait for a second then after we open windows server 2016 to check domain have this computer in so after is restart and after we check this a part of domain then after i can go with the okay okay we have to go to this pc again click on this pc right mouse click on that properties and go to here and it's say computer full name work one dot solo dot local so this is a part of domain so we have to check after like it's connected to domain so i just go here for for minimize this windows 10 and here is i have windows 2016 server and after we have to go to computer and user so windows administrative tool click on that it's a users active directory users and computers click on that and after you can see here the work one pc is a part of here you can see this is a part of domain so how you join the computer to the windows server domain so and you can see this is the part like this one and this is the part of domain and you can manage user accounts and here like we can add users like i did this one like if i need to add another user so we can add because this, we have two computers so we need two users so they can join to the server anytime so click new and go to user and first name so first name like you can put last name Okay. and user login name is same you have to R -O -H -N. click next and you need to enter the password so how you can join the domain so we can add the password this like
I just put the password on there and user must change next login is depends on you I said no user cannot change password click on that password never expired click next and you can see the we generate this user and is on the system so this one we can join to the computer through the domain so how you join domain through the windows generate like the user we have the user here and we have to connect this user we make the user in windows server like is a domain user and he want to use like this windows 10 so we have to click here input and switch to user and you can see i have the login for this user so i click on that i put his password and click enter and this user is login to like domain so first we have to go to back here check to this pc click on that here and after want to see the network when we click on it say network discovery is turn off click on that and it's asked me for the say, domain solo so username so I gave the permission to this so okay click ok and network discovery on the network is on here so basically this is a part of the domain and we can go and this PC back to here to check this PC properties here and it shows like we have a work one PC is part of the domain and is connected to the and the user login user can connect and we can go here back to the computers here and this one is right here and there's a second PC is here and user just we just right here we have the user is join the windows 10 so and we can see on the domain controller like the here computers and these two computers you can see I can go back a little bit here so this is the part and and it's working so how you join the user to the computer thank you for watching my video